think I made a huge mistake. So, I don't know if you saw my interview with Jeff in the last video, but I've got him all convinced now to look for gold rings. Now, we used to knock doors together over the past few years, and he'd run around cherry picking all the silver, and you know, I'd, I'd go for the silver too, but I, you know, I'd slow down a little bit and I'd, you know, grab some of those medium tones and try to grab some, you know, old tokens and nickels and gold rings and, you know, the all elusive gold coin. But, and then it's, we'd kind of split up the yard and as soon as he was done with his side, I'd go over and I'd, I'd detect his side while he'd just stand there because he wasn't going to dig any trash. Well, now I'm a little bit jaded because, of course, he always comes down here metal detecting with me. And now, you know, I used to, you know, enjoy it better when he just wanted the silver. And I knew, knew he was leaving all my gold rings alone. So I think that punk's going to show up down here in a little bit as soon as he gets off work. So... I'm gonna try to gra grab some gold before he even gets here. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I guess if I get it in my pocket before he gets here, I got no chance of losing it to him. Foil. All right, just grab my first nickel. Dime. Rusty bottle cap. Dime. This one's ringing real high, 88.90. But it sounds chirpy. I think it's gonna be a bottle cap, but let's see. Yep, piece of a bottle cap. Shell. Okay, I got an 8990 right here. Sounds a lot better than the last one. This one's probably going to either be a quarter, well there should be two quarters in this hole, or some silver. Let's see what we got. Oh, ball of cap. Nailed. All right, another nickel. Sunglass frame. That was coming up a loud 60. That was right in the zone. Okay, so this is a 88.90. Could be another bottle cap tricking me. But might be silver. Quarter. That's pretty high ring in quarter. I feel like there should have been two in there. Okay. This is a screaming 47 48 right on top. Where is it? The pull tab must have fell off my last stick. Okay, screaming 47. It's right on top, too. Ah, oh, Ganslaw. Pencil top. All right. So this was really scratchy. But this is a vehicle. See if we can get a year. I think it says 1908. It's in great condition, too. Well, it's 
not a gold ring, but that's definitely treasure. Wow, look at that. Lots of detail. And I believe if you find the 1913, that's worth uh, several million dollars. Okay, I got a real deep silver signal here. <clears throat> see what we got. Maybe it's a weedy. Nice to find a merc or something. My V nickel's getting kind of lonely in there. I feel it. Well, oh. yeah, weedy. One cent. Did we get a year? 1925 I guess it's D looks like we're on in some jewelry Let's see what we got here I think it's probably gonna be bling yeah I'll let you know if it turns out to be something, but usually if you're questioning it, it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that's bling, but still, we're on the jewelry. So I should have live dug it. Another deep silver signal. 48 weedy. Wow, this is a solid 53. I don't even budge off of it. <clears throat> ah. Nickel. Come on now, that's just cruel. Well, I don't know what I got here. It's a little dark. I thought I was going to have a silver ring, but it is dark. But my initial thing here is probably another bling ring. But on the jewelry again. <laughs> 